Good morning. We have 11 orders on eBay, three on Bricklink. Nothing terribly exciting. A lot of lower value orders again, which is fine. Um, you know, yeah, it's funny. Uh, I think yesterday's video when I was recording on Friday, I made the comment of like the there's, people seem to be distracted. People aren't shopping. There may be some economic issues going on. But I was looking at my numbers and I actually, I've actually made more money uh, this October than the previous two years. So go figure on that one. Uh, part of my issue is I'm, I'm buying a lot more. Uh, so that's really affecting me hitting my goals. So I think I just need to be more conscious of that. And you know, things have gotten more expensive. Shipping is more expensive. I was comparing those numbers as well. Um, so today is just gonna be posting and shipping orders obviously but we're gonna get through as much as we can today let's do it i like the idea of before i do anything else get stuff that i've washed and prepped posted asap wow what happened there i let this dry over the weekend so i don't know what to do with that piece but we're gonna post all this stuff get it put away of course, we need to update that first. 993832 is our starting number for the day. So about $40 worth of sales over the weekend. Let's see if we can get that back over 10K today. Here is all the stuff going up. Some of this worth quite a bit. I'm gonna get it all organized and put away and then it should tell us exactly how much value we're posting. As you can see, a lot of this is stuff that I just haven't had in the store before or currently don't have. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it and uh, then fill in the prices. I guess I could go ahead and do this part first. We'll do that. Last six months, average. Okay, everything updated. Wow, we're posting $115. Great. That is definitely enough to push us back over 10K. All right, let me figure out where all this stuff is gonna go and uh we'll start pulling orders i guess okay we're at ten thousand fifty four dollars and eighty five cents i'm gonna wait to update the board because i'm hoping i have more time to do more stuff today and you know it'd be great if we got that to like what what was our highest number so far um oh we've already beat the highest number it was uh ten thousand thirteen so we're at ten thousand fifty four uh well, i mean if we can keep going We'll keep going. Let's pull some of the eBay orders, or rather all of them, and then all the Bricklink orders. And uh, we'll do some more work today. We are looking for a Ninjago set. This thing always wants to fall when I pull it out. Uh, you know what, it'll be less annoying if I just uh, don't record. Ninjago set 70608, 25 plus shipping. Imperial Dropship, 20th Anniversary Edition, $25.99 plus shipping. Looking for a Dr. Robotnik action figure. There it is. Let's see. There we go from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It had gone on sale. What, uh, I forgot how much I sold it for. $21.60 free shipping. So, and then we had some old stuff sell. Old old side. I've had that for a while now. Oops, some of the Lego was still wet. Hopefully I can get on the cardboard there. Got this stack of Overwatch figures. Went for like 22 plus shipping somewhere in that neighborhood. You'll see it on the screen. And I've had these for like ages. I don't know why I never just let them go. Probably because I figured they're brand new and will sell eventually. So I, I can't even remember what I paid for them or where I got them at all. We got a Chewbacca Brickhead right here. Oh, there's another big ugly rock piece. I wonder what that's doing in there. Just, just keep discovering little old things from when I had worse habits than I do now. Uh, this little Naboo Starfighter sold as well. I think it was like $5 plus shipping. So that's cool somebody picked that up. Couple video games we're looking for. Body Harvest, Shadow, Zelda, 
I'm actually using the screen to see. But maybe it'd be faster if I just pulled it down. Went ahead and just grabbed a couple. Body Harvest 1520 plus shipping. WWF Raw for the SNES. 12 free shipping. And then we got NBA Hang Time. And that went for 22 free shipping. Over here for five plus shipping. This little Micro Machines do back guy right there. That one's a cool one. I like that one. And then last one on eBay. This should be the last of the Breakfast Club. Brian Johnson, 22 free shipping. And probably could have fetched a little bit more, but the box damage and stuff, people get particular about that kind of thing. I think that's the last of the Breakfast Club I have. Let's see. Yep, that's, that's it. So let me pack all this up and then we'll do Brickling stuff. Okay, three different Brickling orders right here. Let's take a look. Uh, one all parts, one some minifigure stuff, and then one itty bitty one. Right here, 1344, Ezra's torso and BB-8. Uh, this one right here, 3660 all in, some Mario stuff, Chima stuff. These, <laughs> uh, armor pieces almost never sell, so happy to see one of those go. I got that king going out of here. And this one, 1226 all in. Just a bunch of light bluish gray wedges and wings. Awesome. All right, that is that. Uh, let's post some stuff to eBay. And then more to Bricklink, I guess. It feels weird to have like Bricklink take up more and more of my time, but it's making, it's not making more money than eBay, but it is steadily making more money. And uh, we're getting through stuff I've been putting off for a very, very long time. So that feels good. Uh, right here, those are all just bricks that I'm trying to get organized. That is obviously just more, uh, I think in the interest of consolidating space and making this more attractive. I don't know. Uh, I might just bend these back up, put them away. And then these are also loose bricks. But it'll be way less intimidating to like do that much versus have four massive, five massive bins just sitting there. I'm going to think about that while I do eBay stuff and we'll see how it goes. I pulled that one down just to take a look inside and there's actually minifigures floating around in here. So maybe, maybe we should. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, I'm getting distracted, not yet. Okay, I wanna take care of this basketball stuff because I should. I know some, I think uh, some of those are worth moolah that we need to be making currently. And Yoda's hut maybe, that'd be a good one. What else we got in here? Uh, this looks like a fairly easy one to like just part check real quick. One, two, three. Um, uh, I don't think this one's worth a ton of money, so I might just post the minifigures. It's the uh, Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine, I think is what it's called. That might have been Bubba Boba Fett set. I can't remember. Mark Fighter's good. That's nice and easy. And then. Um, I don't know. That looks all put together, so maybe I just do that one real quick. Can't be worth a ton. I'll figure it out. I like this case. This case has given me an idea, but I'll post these first. I ended up just posting all those basketball figs to Bricklink. And this set, I've put it together before, so I don't feel compelled to do it again. So I think I'm just gonna like lay it out nicely and take a couple photos for eBay and post it like that. I got a Sharpie on my fingers. 
So the couple I buy this stuff off of, you know, they take what they want to keep for their collection and then they sell me stuff and then they check everything off of Bricklink. Like they've gone through and made sure it's all here and they print this off for me. So when I, you know, do my own part check just to make sure they didn't miss anything or anything's not broken, they rarely miss anything. They're great at it. Um, it's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful situation we have going on. What was I going to say? Oh, so as I'm laying it out, I like just, you know, I'll lay out the five black ones and then I'll know they're all there. And I just take a really cool picture, nice picture. And that's how I sell it on eBay. There we go. A perfect example. Everything was here, verified all their work. It's done. It's a wonderful thing. And this is exactly how I'll take the photo. This one was already all built up, ready to go. So I just slapped the stuff that had fallen apart back together and it's ready. Done. Getting ready to break for lunch, but we did have one more brick link order come in for a total of $20.65. Let's pull that out. It's only two items, that's great. Just this Harry Potter torso and this Genosian head. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just posted a ton more plates for another $44. Okay, this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful figuring out this system. I do need to record a second video today just to keep up with my release schedule. It's gonna be another Q&A video, so that'll come out on Wednesday, I think, yes. Uh, here's what I need to do over here now. So I co-opted some drawers, emptied them, converted them into this plate system. I think I'm committing to this for the time being. Um, the thing is like, these are like totally different size drawers. So I should get them all in like, they're here, here, and here. And I've started using this drawer for like the bulky rock pieces and doors and stuff. So because I've decided I'm basically committing to this, I also started using this one. I should actually just bring those over here. Stay on topic. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. I don't feel like I really access these enough to justify keeping them like this. Is that silly? I don't think it's very silly. And then I could be using these to store other things. So I gotta figure that out. I'm obviously storing stuff down here that shouldn't be in here, but we're making do with the space we have, I suppose. Uh, point being, I need to make this a better use of space. I need to get it organized. Right now, the remarks on this, like the SKU number is D11. I called this D11B. I just called this Lego bases, which isn't like accurate. I called that large manuals, which isn't accurate. So I need to actually get them properly categorized and so I can continue to expand this system because ideally I would start to, well, maybe I just, maybe I just post all these. How often does a dark red two by two sell? That's something to consider, but I guess I should do a column of plates. That would probably be enough. They sell frequently enough and I'm adding them frequently enough that one column should be enough. probably get pretty close to doing a column of two by twos. So I'm gonna spend a little while figuring this out and I don't think I'm gonna record the whole process. So I guess just keep an eye out for that changing. I think in a certain scenario, all the, uh, I would start to convert all these to 
into Lego parts storage. But the, uh, I really like having this under the table stuff right here because a lot of my current BrickLink inventory is right here. So like, it's all easily accessible. So, hmm. Final number for the day, $10,174.12, meaning we added $235.80. Look at that. Blew way past our previous record. And we're getting close to where, you know, we can measure how much roughly we did in a month. Something to keep in mind with this board is like sometimes while my kid is napping, I'll bring stuff into the house and and do some in there and I, it doesn't get recorded on this board. And then of course the 235 we posted today, uh, our end number doesn't account for the order we had while we were posting stuff. So these are rough numbers to just give us goals and to measure progress, it's not 100% accurate. Had a thought as I was walking away from it. Uh, Essentially, we've posted a thousand dollars worth of stuff in uh, over the course of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days. Let's call it fifteen days, half a month. And a lot of that is just like what my schedule allows for. But fifteen days, that's two thousand dollars a month I could theoretically be posting if I posted every day. And as I get faster at brick store and as I get my organization better, uh, I only see that number going up. Uh, the thing is like at the current pace is what we're doing. If my goal at a minimum is to make $2,000 a month that goes into our pockets, not gross sales, that's the net after fees and expenses and everything. I want $2,000 to go towards our bills and all that jazz. Um, I need to be posting more and I need more variety to encourage more sales. So that's what doing that whiteboard really helps with is like illustrates what I need to be doing to achieve my goals. So I like it, it's helping. And then of course we still have all the eBay sales that aren't accounted for on that board as well. So it goes on and on and on. Uh, thank y'all for watching. It's actually getting cold in here. I'm gonna have to go spend money on a heater soon. Um, I'm shivering a little bit. I hope it doesn't show on camera. And I'll catch y'all next time. Love you. Bye.